Wagwan Massive and Crew DJ Cool Breeze here once again with another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tempo map your session. And what that means is your session will be locked in to the BPM of the um, beat, whatever beat you're recording to. So in this case, I have the um, Island Breeze rhythm and as of now, I do not know what the tempo of this track is. Normally, some beat makers would put the BPM of the track in the track name. And, you know, other key information would be in the metadata of the song. So if you don't have that, though, an easy way and a quick way to find it is to use Virtual DJ or Serato DJ, which the free versions give you access to um, analyze the tracks in there and get the BPM. So all you have to do is just drag the track onto one of the decks in um, Serato and Serato will analyze the track and it will display the BPM right here as a hundred and it also gives you the key information which is the key of the song is A minor so once you get that information you can go ahead and uh, close Serato DJ then I already have my track loaded up into um, the clip section of Serato so I'm just going to go ahead and drag it onto this empty track right here Okay, so now that I have the track in there now, the tempo of this session is 120 BPM. And when you open a new session in Pro Tools, it defaults to 120. So to change that, you double click on this red triangle right there. And then you can just enter your BPM of the track because I already know that. And then your location should be one of one. And what this means is, bar one beat one and then you click ok so now to make sure everything is lined up you want to make sure um everything is on grid so firstly you're going to slip mode then you go to your first downbeat and you can recognize your first downbeat by the tallness of the waveform so if you notice the tallest waveform that starts off this track is this one right here at right? closer to number nine right so you're gonna click your, your cursor close and then you're gonna hit hit tab but before you hit tab you want to ensure that tab to transient is turned on and what that means is once you hit tab it will go to the closest transient once you do that now you press a to trim the selection from the beginning and then you go back into grid mode and then you drag your track now to nine right to number nine once you're on number nine now you just use your um trim tool and trim the track back out to the beginning and everything right now should be set right on time perfectly on grid so if i go ahead and i make a um let's say make a two bar loop you should hear everything snap nicely So that's a perfect two bar loop. I can even take it further and go ahead and make a four bar loop. So that's perfect. And one way, uh, one good use of tempo map is to, it allows you to trim. It allows you to edit faster. It allows you to um, calculate your delay time and your reverb time. All your time-based effects are handled easier. So for instance, if you want to make a quarter note delay, it will be very easy once your track is tempo mapped. So when you're working on any Pro Tools session, this is one of the first thing you want to do. And that's just a quick and easy way to do it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Once again, I'm DJ Cool Breeds. One love.